Hummingbirds off the deep end. We're here at the CCA workbench, and when we're talking about marlin fishing, we're certainly talking about the deep end of the water column. All right. Captain Jason, welcome to the Chevy Florida Insider Fishing Report. We're glad to have you. So let's start by talking about what kind of tackle would we typically use if we we're going to go marlin fishing? Personally, uh, I'll use 30 to 50 pound tackle. Um, most of your viewers fishing from outboard boats, you know, or chasing dolphin right. this time of year during the spring and summer. Um, That's what you're going to be using anyway, right? So this Akuma would plenty work fine. sufficient for. For, for, for what you're gonna do. You know, there's a cons misconception that you need 80 to 130 pound gear to catch them on. That's, that's, that's All that Zane Gray stuff no, and Hemingway stuff. True. 30 and 50 pound is more than enough for, for what we're catching how, here for. How many blue marlins you caught on 30 pound you think in Guatemala? Oh, no, between Guatemala and, and, and St. Thomas? St. Uh, and, and Venezuela in years past, a lot. A lot. A lot. Uh, and, and most hundreds, people hundreds, are hundreds. crazy, call you crazy when you no, say, I'm no. going to go blue marlin fishing with a 30. So no. is there any truth that the lighter tackle it keeps the fish from going deep? They oh, stay yeah. up surface Light drag, jumping? fish stay up on top, do their thing, and don't go down deep and sound, and, and you're able to catch them real fast. You Using your boat, chase them down. Right. That's right. awesome. Well, if you're, if you're going to go fishing for marlins in Florida, what would you pull back there to try to increase your chances of getting one in the spread? Well, as long as well as uh, having baits in the riggers or lures in the riggers, uh, a couple teasers would help you out. Maybe a squid chain on one side and a, and a, and a, a lure of some sort on the other for the blue marlin, squid chain for the white marlin. I gotcha. um, have, a, have a pitch bait ready or another a flat line bait in position for, for white marlin or blue marlin, whatever might come up on your, on your teasers. It, Definitely you, give you an advantage. You catch most of your marlins on baits, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, well, we're bait fishermen by by trade. And, Little dink uh, ballyhoos most yeah, of the time. But small, medium ballyhoos. A lot of times those big boom on come up and eat those. Gonna get a lot better hookup ratio than, than you would on a, on a lure, generally. But um, yeah, we're, we're, we're generally bait fishermen. Do you have a big pitch in the boat? Like I always little... have a big pitch for the, for the, for the big fish. We, we use a, a mackerel, but uh, a dolphin belly works well. You know, maybe catch schooling in the morning and, and uh, belly them out. Yeah, cut the belly out and keep them keep them rigged up for, for the boom on that comes up on your, on your bridge teaser. I got gotcha. you. Well, if you're, if you're going to go fishing for bait in, I mean, for a blue marlin in Florida, where would you go? Where would be your spot? Well, uh, I'm kind of preferential to the keys myself, you know, not a long run, uh, especially this time of year around the moon during the spring and summer, you're going to have a good shot at catching a, a wider blue marlin out there trolling around, um, from, from bird, to, you know, debris pile to birds. Uh, having you spread out, you're, you're going to get a shot of blue marlin out there about around how, the humps how, and the about rips. How far are you going? About out 15, of the keys? 15, 20 miles. You know. Yeah, like uh, the woods wall is what 24, 26 miles off. Exactly. Key West. That's, from, that's way shorter than just about any run in Florida. For yeah, the, the humps. Yeah, from the, the humps, humps from from Alamada hump down to the marathon humps, no, you know, 15, 20 miles offshore. That's that's doable for anybody with a with a, a center console boat. Exactly. Oh, exactly. you know, up, up in Destin and and. Uh, and even in Jacksonville, we have to run 60 miles plus to get to good marlin, exactly. good marlin blue water, exactly. uh, especially for whites. You know, you got to go even deeper sometimes for those. I got one last question. I got to know, what's the biggest blue marlin you ever caught? <laughs> caught and released. I've caught one that we weighed over uh, 855 pounds, biggest one I weighed. We caught one maybe bigger that we let go, but you never know. Yeah. Uh, we didn't Where was that? In um, Madeira, Portugal. Boy, Whoa. it's going and it's going off there right now, actually. Yeah. Jason, <laughs> thank you so much for taking Happy to time be here. out Happy of your to be busy here. schedule Thanks, to come man. see us. Happy to be here. Farrell, to see you guys. You do a good job over here when we're talking about the stuff, stuff that, that you I know love about. So much. <laughs>